going to demonstrate how to uh, calculate wing area. So we have a uh, drawing of an airplane. We have uh, B is the wingspan, so it goes from wingtip to wingtip. It's going to be B, and that, that is the wingspan. And we have corded the tip right here, and, uh, and we're going to have corded the root. Um, some airplanes have rectangular wings, meaning that the cord at the tip is the same as the cord at the root. Some other ones have tapered wings, meaning that the cord at the root is smaller, um, sorry, cord at the root is bigger than the cord at the tip. So taper ratio is lambda, and so lambda, when lambda equals one, we have a rectangular wing. When lambda equals zero, we have a tapered, uh, highly tapered wing or a, a delta wing. So it's, uh, the cord of the uh, tip is pretty much zero. And when we have lambda uh, between one and zero, we have a tapered wing that looks like this. So taper ratio is going to be defined as cord at the tip divided by cord at the root. So this one right here could be somewhere around between zero and one. So we can call it, I don't know, 0 0.5 or something like that. So to calculate the wing area, we're going to have S equals the wing area. And the formula for wing area is going to be wingspan B times the average cord. So if the uh, wing is completely rectangular, then the area is going to be the wingspan times the uh, average cord. The average cord is, if the cord at the tip is the same as the cord at the root, as the case of a rectangular wing, so it's going to just be um, wingspan times the cord. But if we have a tapered wing, then we have to calculate the average cord. The average cord, for this course, we're going to use the following formula. Average course is going to be two times the cord of the root divided by three times one plus lambda plus lambda square divided by one plus lambda where C equals average cord, CR equals cord at the root, CT equals cord at the tip, So that is 158.8 feet square. I run out of room here. It's going to be S equals 158.8 square 